The United States Air Force USA is reportedly conducting an active hypersonic Agium 183A air launched rapid response weapon ARRD missile test from a B 52H Stratofortress bomber in the near future. The navigation alert, issued to notify aircraft and ships transiting the test area, provided the coordinates of the danger zone culminating in a target area north and east of the Kwajalein Atoll test area, writes Air and Space Forces magazine. The declared flight distance was more than 2,100 miles from a B-52 flying from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam to a launch point about 2,500 miles away. Monitoring and tracking ships and aircraft were also in the test area or en route suggesting that the Pentagon plans to use the test not only to validate ARR hyper performance, more so is to characterize incoming and maneuvering hypersonic missiles and collect data. This is useful for developing hypersonic missile defenses. Meanwhile, specially modified missile defense agency Gulfstream aircraft conducting high altitude observatory HALO, missions have operated from Guam and Hawaii in recent days. According to flight tracker data, a Pentagon official said the ARRD's first flight outside the usual test area off the California coast utilized missile surveillance equipment that will also be used to detect and track missiles launched from China or possibly North Korea. When asked if the test was conducted in this region as a message to China that the U.S. has hypersonic operational capabilities, the official said that this could be interpreted freely by anyone. Problematically, the USDA has indicated that only one more ARR2 test is planned to complete the program, which Service Acquisition Executive Andrew Hunter said last year would end in 2024. In written testimony to the House Armed Services Committee last March, Hunter said that while the USDA is not planned to put ARR2 into production, there are inherent benefits to completing the all-up round test flight to capture learning and test data that will help inform future hypersonic programs and potential leave-behind capabilities. Under the ARRW contract with Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control, the ARRW development effort entailed designing a boost glide type hypersonic missile, testing it, demonstrating large-scale production capability and having some additional munitions that could be used operationally. How many remaining missiles the program produced was never disclosed, but the missile shown at Anderson Air Force Base, Guam was labeled as all-up round no. 5. Along with unveiling images of the missile, the USAF said it was conducting familiarization training with air and ground crews on hypersonic systems, which included academic elements. A similar familiarization program was held before last year's ARRD test at Edwards Air Force Base, California. The ARRU is a boost glide weapon, meaning it is accelerated to hypersonic speeds by a booster and then glides at hypersonic speeds to the target, making unexpected turns along the way to avoid defenses. The booster is the same as that used on the Army's tactical missile system rockets, Upon reaching hypersonic speed, the clamshell casing opens, allowing a much smaller hypersonic glide vehicle to emerge and complete its mission. 